what's up youtube and welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel my name is kiantra and in today's video i'm coming to y'all with yet another hair review shout out to ali per hair for sponsoring this video this hair was so bomb and so fun to work with i'm gonna be showing y'all how i defined the curls how i got the whole entire look the dramatic baby hairs all that good stuff so if you are interested make sure you keep on watching this video <laughs> we about to hop straight into this video y'all this is the construction of the unit this was i believe a 13 by 4 it might have been a 13 by 4 if i'm not mistaken it did come pre-plugged but i did do a little bit of plucking i'm just showing y'all the pamphlet everything that came inside of the box they did hook your girl up with all the goodies so um here i'm just putting the wig on this is a 26 inch i think it's a deep wave wig all the information will be um, in the description box down below for y'all but this is a yes a 26 inch deep wave wig and it is a 13 by 4 hd lace frontal unit um it is 200 and percent density that's just the details on the hair like i said i will have it linked below if y'all are interested this hair was so bomb and i love how um it came pre-plucked so y'all just see me parting out the hairline because some wigs just be having different type of hairlines and it didn't fit mines specifically so y'all just see me cutting some lace off before i actually go in and glue the unit down i believe i got a large cap size but i could be mistaken i don't think i got a large cap size for this unit i forget if i was having problems um with the install or not we gonna see i made it work if i did if it was too small for my head i definitely made it work but y'all just see me putting an elastic band on the unit and this is the hair, y'all. It was so pretty and so full. I loved working with this hair, y'all. It's been a little minute since I actually filmed this video, like, from when I'm doing this voiceover. So bear with me, but I definitely did enjoy working with this hair. Y'all just see me getting ready to cut the lace off. Your girl got to get into her groove of applying wigs more often because, obviously, the more you do something and practice at it, the better you get. And I don't know. I feel like some days I have, you know, sometimes I have good install days and then some days i'll be struggling a little bit so your girl gotta get back um into it with practicing and everything but i definitely did love how this one came out y'all just see me hot combing the top of the unit and clipping the hair back i love me some big curly hair y'all especially for a vacation it's just it's just gonna give every time so y'all just see me pluck in the unit where i have the baby hair just making it thinned out a little bit so it looks more natural and I'm also going in with the hot comb and my care care stick like I always do. That is my wax stick just to um, lay everything really, really flat. We love a sleek, laid, flat install. Okay, so that is what y'all see me doing. I also use my boho active as I always do. And yeah, I'm just going to let y'all watch this process. Super self-explanatory. Y'all know I didn't did about a million and one of these types of videos. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just going to let y'all watch what I'm doing. All right, y'all, so after I was finished kind of plucking them out and mapping the baby hairs out, I'm just going in to cut them. I did want some dramatic ones this go around, so that's why y'all see that they're kind of on the bigger side. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just cutting out the sideburns, just doing two on the sides. Y'all also see me going in with some got to be glued just to further melt the lace into my skin. I like to do this step. It definitely helps just melt the lace. Putting the elastic band back on so that it can give laid and then i'm also going to be cutting these shorter because they kind of too long i do recommend though cutting them a little bit longer just to start with because once you cut them too short you can't go back i feel like over time though eyeballing it you'll know how much to cut just according to like how you like your baby hairs what look you're going for i don't think my camera was rolling unfortunately but i did go in with my nairobi i'm showing y'all and then i did use <laughs> those skinny flat irons and i just curled them the way that y'all just saw me imitating and i wanted these big fluffy dramatic swoops and that is what i got so y'all just kind of see me playing with them i love doing my baby hairs with mousse actually sometimes better than i do gel but y'all i'm always switching some stuff up like it's really hard for me to just stick to one specific method for a very long time 
um even though I probably should <laughs> but sometimes I use gel for my baby hair sometimes I use mousse I do like mousse because once it dries up it just allows you to get that fluffy look so that is what it was looking like real dramatic and fluffy I guess just the look I was feeling I don't know I don't know sometimes I'm feeling that more natural baby hair look and sometimes I just want me some big old pretty curly swoops so I'm just kind of going in and playing with the hair some more like I said make sure y'all check out Ali Pearl hair this exact unit and all the information will be in my description box all that good stuff make sure y'all go shop with them and while y'all at it make sure y'all go follow my social medias TikTok, all that will be on the screen as well as in the description box down below so y'all know i had to get the full beat going and define the curls i feel like i've done videos like this several times so i just wanted to get straight to the point i always use my water and my nairobi foaming lotion that is what i used and i got this look y'all i hope y'all did enjoy this video huge shout out to ali pearl here once again i enjoy working with y'all and thank y'all so much for watching this video